How do we improve uh, brain health for kids specifically? Play games mm -hmm. with them. When my daughter, who's 19, was two, her name is Chloe. We played this game called Chloe's Game. So I would go, is this good for your brain or bad for you? If I would say frozen blueberries, she would go, are they organic? Because non-organic blueberries hold more pesticides than almost any other fruit. I'm like, of course they're organic. She goes, two thumbs up, God's again. <laughs> if I said avocados, she'd go, two thumbs up, God's butter. Her mother makes something called avocado gelato. If I said, hit in a soccer ball with your head, she's like, she would roll her eyes at me. Are you stupid? <laughs> the brain is soft, the skull is hard, the skull has sharp bony ridges. If I said, talking back to your redheaded mother, no, very bad. <laughs> and so you plant it. Mm. Where is your brain? What does your brain do? How important is your brain? What helps it? What hurts it? Mm -hmm. Getting them involved to see, oh, it controls everything. So we have a high school course. Right after we do this session on things to avoid, it's always a boy. It's never a girl. <laughs> always a boy raises his hand and goes, how can you have any fun? And so we play a game with them called Who Has More Fun? The kid with the good brain or the kid with the bad brain? Who gets the girl and gets to keep her because he doesn't act like an ass? The kid with the good brain or the kid with the bad brain? <laughs> Who gets into the college they want to get into? The kid with the good brain or the kid with the bad brain? The big lesson is you are not depriving yourself by engaging in a serious brain healthy life. You're not depriving yourself of anything.